guys, welcome back to my channel. I think this is the first time that I look presentable and I have my makeup on. I just got ready on TikTok, so if you guys want to see that, I'm going to link it down below for you guys. But I am currently getting ready to head into the city and get my laser treatment done. I actually haven't spoken about this on YouTube yet, but I started my laser journey last year with Erase Bot and I couldn't be happier if you guys know this about me i think i've mentioned this in a few like q a's but i've been wanting and dreaming to get my laser done for forever it was one of my resolutions like year after year and last year was the year that i was like i'm gonna get it done but i'm rushing out right now so when i come back i'm going to sit down and chat with you guys about my experience and basically how it's been going for me you know, just like the pros and the cons and everything about it that I wish I knew. I'm about to take the Metro North to the city and then Eric is going to pick me up. But I'm going to have my Advil first so that it's active by the time that I get there for the pain. One thing about me, I hate taking pills. By the way, you guys, I haven't promoted my Natha label here as much as I should, but these scarves are 10 out of 10. Like everyone needs it for the winter. It's just the warmest, coziest thing ever to put on your neck. I'm obsessed. now i ended up changing and getting a little bit more cozy but i wanted to sit down and chat with you guys about my laser experience and just update you all on everything that i've been doing and just my opinion about it like the pros and cons and everything like that so i started getting laser i believe um september basically fall time wait i have to lower this a bit but i started my laser treatments at the beginning of fall time so like september i believe and i go to erase bot in the city absolutely recommend absolutely love just like the best service ever they have the most amazing girls i feel like i feel like almost all of them has seen my you know fun story about that in a bit always known that i wanted to get laser sometime in my life just because i despise shaving i hate waxing um i have a really low pain tolerance so I needed to get mentally prepared for laser, even though I have to admit it is painful, but in my opinion, it's less painful than waxing. And the best part is permanent compared to waxing. Um, I honestly didn't have the best experience waxing. I started waxing at 21 or 22. And to be honest with you, everyone would say like, oh, it gets better. The pain gets less severe but no to me it stayed exactly the same if not worse and people would also say like your hair grows thinner when you wax it it definitely did not do that for me it was the same exact thickness so i just didn't find benefits on it to be honest with you and it's also very tedious to have to do it every two to three weeks it's also very expensive so it just adds up and in my opinion even though laser is more expensive if you think about it like short term but long term it's way cheaper than getting wax every single year and the best part that i've been so eager and excited about and i honestly didn't think could happen to me um was how your skin just evens out completely like everything looks one color which i cannot be more grateful for but yeah overall i couldn't recommend it enough and honestly i am just so in awe and obsessed with the results i believe i've gotten seven sessions for my brazilian and underarms i think um six or seven and i started noticing a difference from the first session not even kidding like from the first session i noticed my hair growing a lot thinner i noticed every single hair particle falling off by itself when it started growing back which i loved to witness <laughs> what else i mean just genuinely like the growth was less and less and less every time and now it's just like little peach fuzz 
hair, which I cannot believe because I feel like I'm one of the hairiest people ever and just my hairs are thick. My leg hairs are thick. Um, I'm the type of person that I need to shave every single day in the summer, which would lead me to get ingrown hairs, which would also lead me to have like really sensitive skin. I would try every single razor possible, every single shaving cream possible. I do have a favorite shaving cream, which is the EOS, but I could never find a good razor and I, I feel like I tried every single one that wouldn't cut me or leave my legs and any body part that I would shave very sensitive. And I feel like that was because of how thick my hair was because now I shave with the same exact razor and it's not like I have no issues. So that probably was the reason like how thick my hair was that it would just cut my skin um, when I would shave. I don't know. Anyways, but yeah, I should have started with what I get done. I get my Brazilian and underarms done and then I started getting my legs done recently, which I am so freaking happy about. Um, I actually couldn't get my legs done this time I went because I'm going to Mexico. So I was able to convince a girl to let me get my Brazilian and underarms because that's obviously covered. But she suggested that I couldn't get my legs done since I'm going to be in Mexico. I let her know that I'm not the type of person to like sit down and tan. However, I will be under the sun, um, either doing ex excursions or walking. You can't get laser two weeks prior being in the sun or two weeks after being in the sun, if that makes sense. So I have to wait until I get back and get it done in two weeks after I get back. What else? You have to shave every single time before you go and get laser. Um, I usually do it right before I leave. Some people do it like the day before, a few days before. I just prefer to be freshly shaven so that the laser does its job better. But yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to share with you guys about my experience. 10 out of 10 recommend. Please just cancel your wax appointments and make your sessions for laser. Now on to a really awkward situation that happened to me when I went because this would only happen to me. <laughs> I've always feared for whoever does my wax or laser to know me and, like getting it done and getting someone to look and be all up on your private parts is already embarrassing enough or just like you know just not the most pleasant feeling ever adding the fact that they know you i just could not fathom the idea and that finally happened to me the girl that did my laser <laughs> said that she knew me and um like in the most kindest way and most respectful way possible uh but yeah it was just very very embarrassing so but yeah that was pretty much it for this little quick sit down chatty moment i wanted to just share my experience about laser and basically convince you guys to get it done because it's the best decision i've made so i'm going on a trip this weekend which i'm so excited about it's going to be my first batch ever for my friend pamela we're going to mexico playa del carmen to be exact and i have to pack one of my new year's resolutions was to pack at least a week in advance and we are a day and a half from departure so i have to start packing i also have a bunch of things that i need to return um i want to go to target i have to go to bloomingdale's to also make another return i just have a million things to do today and i also want to go to trader joe's so I think the smartest idea is to start off by packing, maybe? I don't know. I have to admit, I am the worst packer of life. I'm just an overpacker, and I've come to the realization of that. So today, I'm going to challenge myself to pack everything for four days, three nights, in a carry-on. So pray for me. If I'm being honest, I would have just thrown everything in a check-in bag and call it a day because I'm the one paying for it. But my friends are all packing everything in a carry-on. And if the bride can pack in a carry-on, I feel like I can pack in a carry-on. So let's do this. The best part about going to Mexico is that I actually have a bunch of things that I purchased to wear in the summer that I didn't get to wear in the summer. So we're gonna bring those out. This orange dress that I got from Amazon, I have this beautiful copper one from Express, I believe. I have this cutie green one, similar to the orange one from Express. God, I've been wanting to wear this sunset dress and I feel like it screams Mexico, right? But I, I just, this is the thing. I, the way that I pack, I'm like, oh, this will be cute, but it's not realistic because I'm bringing a bunch of night outfits when there's only three nights. I also have this black dress because we have an all black night for the batch so i'm gonna bring this little number 
Oh, this will be cute for the daytime. This is from Abercrombie & Fitch. I have another little casual dress that I could wear. A little throw on. I also have this nude one that I got from Amazon. See, I'm just bringing, I'm bringing so many things out. I have these shorts that I would love to wear. The thing is, I feel like the only way to wear these shorts are with a cute white top. And because it's a batch, I don't find it appropriate for me to wear white. All right, bathing suits. Let's see what we have. So I have the actual bathing suit that we're all wearing from Chien. The one we're wearing on the yacht. And we're wearing it with this hat right here. We got these hats from Fashion Nova, but they don't bend. Like, when I tell you, it is the hardest thing ever. Like, if I would pack it, it would probably get ruined. All right, here's everything laid out. I think I should make like little different piles so that it could make more sense. <laughs> what happened? Taking a quick snack lunch break, I'm going to make this pizza right now and quickly eat it as I'm packing. Pizza is ready. I'm having it with this seltzer and our special sauce, which is just sriracha and mayo. going to start packing this is my carry-on which is like 10 12 years old not even kidding i got it back in high school i found it at this random discount store and i love the pattern and i can't believe that it's still going strong so let's hope that everything fits in the carry-on life goes up and it goes down i know my mom taught me that i figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious Idiots thinking it will matter, keep me company downtown before the clock runs out. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. Friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around, and then I remember all things must pass, but I'm not gonna wake up. All right, it's the next day. I didn't get to finish vlogging, but I am actually running a bunch of errands today. I haven't vlogged in this car in a long time, and I still can't believe that your girl has her license and is just out and about running errands. Like, it's so surreal to me. But yeah, tomorrow is our flight to Mexico. Came to drop off some packages to the UPS and USPS, and then I have to make a return at Marshall's and then a Target run. But they're like opposite sides, so I don't know where to go first. There's nothing I hate more than backing up. It's like my my biggest fear. I'm gonna get to where I'm going and then continue vlogging because I cannot do this. I don't know how people use their phones and drive because I could never. At least right now I can. And I hope I never do it because it's just not safe. But whenever I see people vlogging and driving, I'm like, how do you do it? Anyways, goodbye. Be right back. When it feels like I'm lying every time someone asks how it goes and I save the details that actually mean something. Mm -hmm. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. All right, so basically I just ended up going to Marshalls, UPS, USPS, and Target to get some essentials for the trip 
we ended up getting another paper towel holder. This is adhesive. It's from Amazon. I absolutely love the one that we had, but Eric decided to break it. So I think I should show you guys everything I got from Target. I also ended up stopping at Jersey Mike's. So I'll eat that after though, because I'm the type of person that I prefer to have everything done and then eat, you know, even though I'm really hungry, but let's just get this. So this is everything I ended up getting. I got some travel size sunscreen, travel size hairspray, this spray moisturizer I really wanted to try. It was only $3.79. And then I got the regular Cocoa Radiant Moisturizer from Vaseline, travel size deodorant, travel size body moisturizer. I'm always in the hunt for a good deodorant and I heard someone on TikTok mention that the Old Spice, the men one, in Oasis is the best one, but they didn't have it. So I decided to get this one, which still smells pretty good and not manly. Lastly, I got these two cute little heart candles. That's pretty much it. And the total was $36. Not too bad. I still need to pack my base bag, which I'm going to be putting my shoes, my toiletries, and makeup but I'm still indecisive about my shoes because I always overpack for shoes. However, since it is a batch, I think I'm going to be leaving the white shoes and replacing it with the silver so that I only take three heels and two flat shoes. But I'm going to end up eating really quickly. I wanted to pack first, but I'm so hungry. So let's eat. So I wanted to show you guys everything that I bring with me when I travel. Basically, my everyday makeup look, to be honest, because I don't like to experiment too much. I have here all of my brushes. I usually like to pack my makeup for a trip as I'm doing my makeup so that I don't forget any steps because it has happened to me. But if I don't do that, I just pack it by the order that I apply it. So I start off by moisturizer. This is the sunscreen that I'm going to be using while I'm there. Charlotte Tilbury Serum. Three concealers, darker and lighter. One is Ilia and the other one is Kosa's and the darker one is Dior. Then two foundations here, L'Oreal and NARS. Brow powder, setting powder, bronzer, highlighter. These two right here are eyeshadow palettes and blush. I have my lipsticks up there. I usually just stick to nudes. I do want to add a gloss, so I have to find that. My mascaras, waterproof mascara, eyeliner, liquid liner, and lashes in case I want to do lashes at night. This is my favorite little travel case because it just truly fits everything. It is a little dirty or stained, I don't really know. I almost forgot, but I also bring a sponge. This one is from Real Techniques, one of my favorites, but I'm just going to put everything in here and then move on to my toiletry. I almost forgot, I also love bringing this mirror. It's extremely dirty, but... That's what it looks like. For toiletries, this is where I go a little crazy and just pack a bunch of stuff, like if the world ending. I'm pretty sure I'm missing some and I will be adding more after this, but this is what I have right now. Hair products, I have shampoo, conditioner, deep conditioner, this treatment, oil, and hairspray. I have some face masks, eye mask, wrinkle spray, tie to go, deodorant. This is all like body, legs, skin type deals. We have shower gel, the two sunscreens that I got moisturizer that i got this is the ella loose body shimmer and then i also have this one which is a body oil face cleansers these are some of my favorites i like the original but i have these in the travel size i'm bringing them and then these are lancomes the most amazing and also the most expensive i also tend to go a little wild on perfumes i was actually going to be bringing full-size products but then i figured I'll just bring the travel size. So I have the Ariana Grande, this one from Zara, Nolia from Philosophy, Lumify, Contacts, some hair stuff here, clips and like little roller. I have to link these for you guys, but they're the perfect travel size like container. You can obviously put pills or just anything in general. I'm bringing these two, which I've been loving, especially this one. I drink it every single day. They're the Ilma Gas and Bloat Relief. So I'm definitely going to be bringing it to Mexico. 
and these right here, which I haven't tried yet. They're the Upset Stomach Relief. I've been to Mexico twice and every single time I've been, I've gotten sick either with the stomach flu or something. So I'm definitely going to be bringing the Upset Stomach Relief. Again, haven't tried these, but that's what these three are. These are my vitamin D3. Then the Stomach Recover Hydrate. This right here is my Super Goop and my Advil's slash Tylenol. I need to link these for you guys because they're truly the coolest thing ever. They are magnetic, as you can see, and you can customize the little tabs. Moving on, I have my micellar cleansing water, shaving cream, razor, Q-tips, and toothpicks. And then I have my toothbrush and stuff that's in the bathroom, my jewelry for accessories. This is what I'm bringing, just the staples. This is going to be my fake ring. I actually have two, as you can see, this one has like little rhinestone. And then in the bathroom, I have the one that I'm going to be wearing tomorrow, which looks a lot more similar to mine without the rhinestones. And I have my bracelets, body chain, and necklace. That's pretty much it. For makeup, I forgot to add my setting spray and lip gloss, which I'm so glad I remember. I'm in charge of bringing the instant camera. So yeah, I think that's it for now. If I add something else, I'll let you know. Finally done. I completely forgot to continue to show you guys how I packed the base bag, but I will be linking the TikTok down below for you guys in case you want to see it. But this is everything I have so far. I do know I have to like add some other things but i have this bag filled with basically like the essentials passport clips chargers hand sanitizers advil the jewelry case here i have some other essentials this hat my ipad my hair caps sunglasses and then in the bottom compartment i have my shoes and handbags and this hat that you can fold or bend so I'm gonna have to hold it the whole time. But I'm going to end today's vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.